Okay, so now that um, you have seen um, how a model for an equation like this works as far as balancing, uh, performing a balancing act, um, I want to show you what you can end up doing um, rather than having to draw out this balance uh, scenario every time. Um, let's take the same equation that we did before. Um, really quickly, I'm going to remind you what we did to, to eliminate this 2x on the right side. We took, um, <clears throat> we introduced two negative x's over here. But we also had to reduce, introduce two negative x's on the left side to be fair because after all this is a scale it must stay balanced and so basically what we have done here well what we have done here is we have added negative 2x to both sides of this equation and the result of doing that Well, 2x and negative 2x, the inverse property tells us that's 0. So those cancel each other out. So all we're left with over here is 9. And 4x and negative 2x, 4, uh, remember this is 0 here. And this is 0 here because of the inverse property. x plus negative x equals 0. So um, we have 9 on, the left, 9 on the right. We have uh, 4x and negative 2x. Well, because of those, because the two negative x's that we added over here canceled those two, we end up with just 2x. So this is the resulting equation that we have: 2x plus 5 equals 9. Now we could have, we could have done this instead. We could have decided to uh, cancel out these four positive x's. How would we do that? We'd have to add four negative x's. Negative x, negative x, negative x, negative x. Probably should have done that on the other side. I will make it a little bit neater. Negative x, negative x, negative x, and negative x. But if I'm going to do that on the left side, i got to do it on the right side as well. 1, 2, 3, 4. So what have I done? I've added negative 4x to both sides of this equation. The result being, well, i got 0 here. Inverse property x and negative x, those opposites, opposites cancel out, opposites add up to zero, and here I have four pairs of opposites, zero. So the result is zero plus five, five equals, oh, negative two x is the result here, two x and negative four x, two positives and four negatives, that's two negatives. So this equation and this equation here are equivalent. They're going to have. They're going to, you're still going to get the same solution. Another example. Here, <clears throat> we want to uh, eliminate these two negative x, these two x's, positive x's with negative x's, and I'll do it over here too. Okay, that gives us. So what have we done? We've added two negative x's to cancel the positive x's, but we have to do it on both sides of the equation. Result. Inverse property tells us that's 0. 0 plus 9. And, well here, no cancellation here, this is negative 6x. Six negatives. Four negatives and two negatives is six negatives. 
or option we could have we could have decided to cancel out these four negatives over here and we would do that with four positives x x x x but that would require four positives over here as well what have we done we have added four positive x's to both sides of the equation the inverse property tells us that that sum is zero so that's zero there inverse property opposites cancel zero plus five is five two x and four x one two three four five six we got six x there and again, I'm leaving the, this is not completely solved yet, but you can take over from here using the Xbox as I've shown you before. And actually, you can play this game some more with the balancing. We could, uh, we could cancel out these nine positives with nine negatives. And we have to add nine negatives over here. We could do that, but that's not what my purpose is right now. Okay, alternatively, let's see, is this the same equa new equation here? Okay, let's cancel out these two negative X's over here. Cancel them out with two positive x's. All right, I'll, can't, I'll add two positive x's over here as well. So we put two positive x's on both sides, staying balanced. And we have zero here, inverse property. So that leaves negative 2x plus 5 on the left side and we have 0 here negative 2x and positive 2x inverse property a equals 0 9 alternatively we could have cancelled out all four of the we could have cancelled the, the negative x's on the left side x we add 4x but to keep the scale balanced, we're going to have to add 4x on the right also. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that equals 0. Inverse property. Oops, forgot. Oops. We've got to be fair. We can't add 4x on one side without adding it on the other. And this is zero. So zero x on the left. So all we have left is that five there. And we have the two positive x's left on the right. Negative two x, two negatives and four positives yields two positives. And finally, we can, let's see, which I want to do the other way around. I want to cancel out these two negative x's here. So, and that means I had to do that by adding 2x to both sides. Result. 0 plus 9. Result here 0. Negative 2x is left because negative 4 negatives and 2 positives is 2 negatives. And it's all about the inverse property.